Hello, I'm Saeed, head of R&D and production at Orgineering. I'm going to show you how to connect RGKit Play to DragonFrame. We designed it in a way that is truly seamless and opens up so many more opportunities for animation. First thing you need to do is plug in your rotator. So far, to connect DragonFrame to motion control, you need a lot of additional accessories, such as external adapters, and things get a bit messy. The connection is also not very stable. We engineered RGKit Play in a way that it connects instantly. It also connects over Wi-Fi, which makes things a lot easier. First thing you need to do is go to your computer and connect to the Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi network is going to be rgkit underscore A followed by four digits. Then you enter the password. The next step is go to your phone and connect to the same Wi-Fi network. Then you open the RGKit Play app and go to stop motion mode. Here you'll find all your rotators listed. And these rotators, they're pretty smart. They just know each other. Each rotator has its own IP address. Now back to the computer and let's open Dragon. In DragonFrame, in the top left corner, click on Scene, and then click on Connections. Here, you press on Add Connection, and then in the drop-down menu in the left, you select DFMoco Protocol slash TCV. Enter the IP address of the rotator into the board, and then press Connect. And now do the same for all following rotators. Now, we go to the Arc Motion Control tab, and we add an axis. Select the preset of the RGK Play accessory that you're using. Here, in this scene, we're using two RGK Play motors, a camera slider and a pusher. So I'm going to add another axis for the camera slider. Make sure all the channels are set to one. And guess what? We're done. Now, let's test it. In under one minute, we'll film a scene of a ball bouncing naturally and sync it with a camera movement. 